Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's time for some more Crusader Kings 2. I'm your Leos, Kelvin. So, it looks like the Italian Civil War is going to take a little longer than I'd hoped. I've been sitting here waiting to pounce, but these guys can't seem to freaking close out a goddamn revolt war. Alright. And, let's trouble some peasants. I think we should probably just grab the... I, I keep wanting to, like, just tech up early, but save the points. You know, be efficient with them. There's always the temptation to spend early, but... I mean, our early uh, early kings were really well-learned people. Got us a lot of points. We aren't getting that many anymore, especially after the loss of our magnum opera. An earnest disciple. Alright. Thank you to Lipundil for following. So, at least instead... No, in the trait kind. Our community grows. Drunkenness. God damn it. Oh, and thank you to Jew Man Cheese for following. Uh, so, the Imperial Decadence is now 8. That's actually not bad. Um, there's no penalty for Imperial Decadence as long as it's below uh, 10, I believe, right? Yeah. We also can't seem to do lower Imperial Decadence anymore. Oh yeah, war game. Uh, I wasn't even paying attention. I was too busy talking and thanking new followers. Uh, use the cavalry to suppress the side flanks. I've already taken the wrong decision, but yeah. Our community Let's find a grows. Quick Thank you to Modern Axis for following. Lots of followers today. And by the way... Uh, thank you to everyone who's followed today, and everyone who's followed overall, because I'm pleased to say we're over 4,000 followers now, thanks to uh, these last couple. Love it, old man named Alfonso. You any good? Oh, you good. You good, sir. Welcome to the court. Are you in the Hermetic Society? I have not actually joined the Hermetic Society. Unfortunately, I am too stupid to join the Hermetic Society. We need a learning of 10. Alright. Mm, you only have 12,000. Alright. This shouldn't be too hard to take care of. Sure, let's go Karaz. 10 We should have no problem with this. Honestly, you know what? I'm going to be a jerk about it. I'm going to save my funds. When you get more than three points per month in a category, you can consider attacking early, but all spies that can come to your court then. Yeah. I mean, I don't really mind if they come and steal my technology. I mean, I can I often just let them go. I consider it an honor. Oh my thank fuck. I get to choose here? We want one learning or one marshal. Devoting myself to the sword will do it. And the direct leader, although we'll never lead troops. Because leading troops is a terrible idea. Seriously, never do that. Alright. Can you compare U4 to CK2? How long will it take me to learn me at medium level CK2? Also, CK2 is that much frustrating than U4 in late game. Uh... EU4's late game I consider it to be a lot worse than CK2. Uh, CK2's late game is a lot better. Uh, CK2 is very good at that because it has focuses for things for you to do while you're not at war. And oftentimes, if you, you know, through mismanagement or what have you, you can often end up in situations whereby, you know, your realm is just locked out of uh, locked out for a few decades of civil war. No ifs, ands, or buts. Which can make uh, expansion world conquest a little harder. You have to kind of be a lot better at the game before you'll have it. And as for learning, learning isn't hard. Um, CK2, again, has actually a surprising amount of, I guess, safety net to it through the dynastic system. Uh, even if you screw up really badly and get deposed, 
If you've given your brother a duchy, you get to continue on as your brother. And, you know, attempt to win back the throne, as it were. Um, so, just because, you know, you lose one little thing, it, all hope is not lost. Whereas, say, in Europa Universalis, when you lose a war to a nearby neighbor, your only hope really is just expand faster than that neighbor is expanding. Uh, and just try to get more troops than them to push them back. Optionally, you might be also be able to do something with allies. But to be invaded by a neighbor and lose is generally a sign that you're doomed. Uh, you need to constantly be winning wars in the U4. Whereas in CK2, uh, you're not really out of it until uh, the fat lady sings, as it were. Is it worth being construction three and spamming universities? Uh, I don't think that's a university. I think that's town infrastructure three. And, you know, I think it is. I will agree with you here. Um, the ability to build universities. Oh, yeah. yeah. The ability to build universities, I think, is worthwhile. Because they do provide economic tech points. So. It's also worth for me to then, you know, start looking around to the other cities in my domain where I can. Although, for now, it's just going to be in Toledo. The early spread will help. Alright. I didn't even see the enemy army here. They just they just didn't even try and fight. Alright, well, we now control North Africa, everybody. Well, a portion of North Africa, to be correct. Alright. Our community grows. Tangiers. Right, title. There you go. Thank you to TPX Sultro for following. Is more of a comp more competent and small scale for military allies. They can actually help. This is true. No, get the hell away from me. A lot of seducers. All right. Not bad overall. So, I suppose, therefore, it becomes time for us to invade Brittany again. We've raised army levies. Don't know where. Yeah, in Italy. I missed those. Alright. So. Hmm. We could do Avrenge or Bourbon. Uh, both duchies are what I'm looking to take as they're part of Octane. Uh, I mean, ultimately, they'll be effectively the same. I should probably take Bourbon, even though it will look terrible, because it is kind of getting incorporated into the Kingdom of Brittany slowly. It would be wise for me to ensure that does not occur. Speaking of which, how goes our 41, 47, 25? Good. We're slowly becoming a de jure empire, guys. It does take a while. Okay, so, that's a possibility. Can I not do it just for Dauphine? Because I do border Dauphine as a duchy. Okay, I can. Yeah, I feel like I should do that. It will cost me... Oh. Will not incur a piety penalty, as Dauphine contains a Cathar holy site. That's handy to know, isn't it? So I get free holy wars if I'm taking the holy site. Hmm. I was actually unaware of that. That's really cool. Alright. Well, let's get marching. So, ruler unmarried. Died from a bad case of the flu. Alright. <laughs> Whatever. Question is, can we find a uh, another waifu to have children with? I lose way too much piety doing this. Not that it helps, really. As an emperor, I have a very limited pool that I can marry from. And, you know... That's kind of made readily apparent. Okay. 
Minus 100 for marrying the relative of a Yarl. We can do that. All dead Zine Fells donate heresy. That's perfect then. Toledo is pr prospering. Knowledge is power. Indeed it is. Excellent. So we've now got two permanent effects on Toledo. The Scholar's Foundation. Mmm, delicious, delicious tech points. Clearly you need king vassals to marry daughters of. I mean, that would require king vassals to have daughters. <laughs> That's half of our freaking problem here. Where are we going to find daughters to marry? Everyone's Cathar. Nobody has children. Ambitious adventurer. Oh no, it's the Capets. Yes, advancements in medicine benefit everybody. Catharism was a mistake. I mean, to a degree. I'm not gonna lie, it has its downsides. Mm -hmm. Here's the enemy. Alright. Republic win. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure Republic really helps us that much. Alright. Good. I really wish I could figure out what this what the cause of this sound bug is, where the um, sound just keeps dropping down real low for a bit. And then it comes back up, but. There's some weird sound ducking bug I've been getting. I'm not sure if it's CK2 Plus or what. Enforce the demands. Excellent. I am pleased to say we now hold St. Jean the Baptiste. This helps our moral authority a lot. Man, temples looted minus 15. Ow. Well. Uh, that... Ow. <laughs> Just ow. I, I didn't realize things were getting that bad. Ooh. Alright. I mean, it's not super surprising. We, uh, we do have a lot of raiding going on here. The Nordic faith is, uh, spreading and causing a lot of damage. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Indeed, thank you, Be One Next, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Enjoy your emote, good sir. And my gratitude. Yeah. And promptly destroy them. Good. Alright. Distribute the holdings once more. And a title. Duchy of Dauphine. There we are. Not bad. I feel like I should grab off Wrench here. Probably wouldn't hurt. But on the other hand, out of curiosity, is it now at least theoretically possible? Keyword theoretically possible for me to Holy War for Rome? Are we close enough? Holy War for Latium. An earnest I'm totally willing disciple. to skip over Pisa for it. Thank you to announce 95 following. Yeah, when Norse are out of initial problems, they can snowball quite well. Yeah. They they have been snowballing pretty well. Our community. Thank you to Gabby Kansu 10 for following. Man, a lot of a uh, lot of followers and even a subscriber day. It is a good day to be streaming. Ha ha. Thank you to everybody. So Bishop Egolias, turn the court council. Good, good. Brian Ross, our young daughter, is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Struggle! No, humility. She's not in our care, it's just you. You have chest pains, Grimdalus. You will learn duty. 
hidden modifiers to fertility even in debug mode. Either that or Irish luck also applies to RNG. I had an Irish count with 15% fertility. I had over 20 kids when I died. No lovers or concubines, only wives. Eh. Well, we've managed to. I actually got up to an astounding four children, which considering we are Cathars is actually kind of a freaking miracle. Seriously, we have problems with this. Alright. Sizienda. So this one shall be named Cackletron. Thank you for your support on Patreon, good sir. I should also start compiling a list of Twitch subscribers uh, that I can start doing for names as well. Not just Patreon supporters. It is on my to-do list. So, on the note of retinue. Um, 50, so 3,150. Yeah, we don't have enough yet. Alright. Oh, hi, Cackledron. Welcome to the chat. Just in time. To see your uh, lovely lady. Brian Ross is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Good. She's up to trained fighter. Get out of here. Yeah, we need to start trying to fend off these looters a little bit at least. To install Chief Hinek of Evenly. Ivoria. I feel like I should go for Ivoria. Would be a nice little duchy. I mean, at some point I wouldn't mind, you know, actually taking over the Kingdom of Italy. We'd have to push him out completely, though. I mean, to be fair, for a while we were hedonist. In fact, we're still hedonistic. That's how we're up to... Four kids. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet hedonism. Yeah, find the poisoner. Probably doesn't exist, but hey. Alright. Soup kitchen? Alright. Damn. We're paranoid. But that happens. Throwing arm will amaze everybody. Who dies? Well, not dead, just severely injured. That's, that's, a, that's good. <laughs> good news, we didn't kill him. And now we're off. Alright, well, suddenly things are... You know, I should complain about all this, but not to lie, our stats are going up. Overall, like, we've seen some pretty significant stat improvements lately. It's one of those things like I should complain about all these bad traits, but look at all those stat points. You know, one of these days we might actually get a claim on Nevera. Alright. And there's my Irish Sunni King, 58 kids. I actually wrote it down, so I was so shocked. Whew. Probably some hidden modifier for Irish. I'd believe it. Speaking of Sunnis, anyone seen uh, what happened to Islam around here? It's now Al-Aznam, which is a pagan faith. So, rather hilariously, Islam has been more or less uh, entirely destroyed. Replaced by nothing more than the Al-Aznam faith. I don't believe there's any remaining, uh, you know, Islamic rulers. Doesn't look like it. Not at least as far as I can see. Our community grows. Thank you to Ben Yogg's guest for subscribing. Oh, we're up to two subs today. Man, this rate I'm gonna surpass Marbus here. I only need two more for that. <laughs> of course, we very only streams once every three months. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. In addition, thank you to Le Gibbs for following the stream. It was a one of the Canaanites. Uh, they're the old Phoenician faith. Or no, old pr proto Jewish faith. They've kind of expanded a little bit. They're doing well enough. They just kind of exist in Israel. They're basically proto Jews, which is pretty neat. Uh, the Hellenic faith has really started to lose a lot of ground to the Tangri, though. 
They haven't, the Hellenics just never were able to organize themselves quickly enough into some, you know, coherent form of an empire that could defend themselves. Unlike, you know, the Germans, the Celts, the, well, okay. To be fair, the only reason the Christians did it was because I did it. Where are the Jews then? Hiding mostly. Athens is still doing okay, it's true. Athens is probably the best hope right now. You know that, his Thessalonica uh, kind of fell apart. Which is a shame. So, who knows? They might still pull something out of their hat, but I'm not counting on it. Hello, King Lambert. <clears throat> so, the County of Orvido is independent. Well, that's fine. So, once more, we're going to jump um, places because I want to conquer our holy sites. Thereby, as such, I also declare war on you for Iveria. Our community grows. All right, rally in Genoa, everybody. We got work to do. We will reclaim Rome. Rome for Christianity. I believe we also get just a 20% moral authority if we have a patriarch in Rome. Which is something I need to maybe work, look into working on. Ooh, we'll see. I run. And, 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 and. Thank you for following. Alright. Man, the, uh, the province locations here kind of make things look really weird. Like, we're actually traveling along the coast, but just kind of walking through this province, uh, visually. Oh, I see. Very well. In that case, I suppose you're free to do as you please. Our community grows. Thank you to Andromas... Uh, Andromasort meant of number. Oof. That's a hard name to say. Thank you for your support. For following the stream. Let's march. We can take over uh, this one quick and easy. Before we march to Rome. Good. Nice. We now have the Duchy of Iveria. Now let's get going. We must march to Rome. Ah, yes. And also distribute the holdings. Green land and title. Ivoria. Ivoria? Yeah, Ivoria. That's what it's called. Alright. There are also Jews in city buildings, only via event, I think. Yeah. The road to Rome. Hmm. You're not even going to stop me. Oh, we'll pillage all the way, then. All the live long way. Oh, what fun it is to pillage on our way to Rome. Hey! Yum, delicious, delicious money. Helps cover the cost of the army. Pro tip, this army is expensive. There we are, 99. They should surrender now. They usually surrender anyway. Even if, you know... Technically, we hadn't won yet. All right. Mm -hmm. Hello there, friend. I have unfortunate news for you today. Well, just your claim on Orvito. Mm -hmm. We don't need to make it a holy war. Alright, 
So we now have room, everybody. Huzzah. So. Alright, land a title. The County of Roma. An earnest disciple. Because of course we will. Hmm. I should consider maybe some things. We'll see. It almost like the army of the Huns or something of Hannibal. Yeah, right? So, thank you, by the way, to BBVR 1976 for following. Alright. Also, the County of Orbitello. Probably giving those away. <sighs> We're doing our best to keep the damned uh, Imperial bureaucracy down. It's not easy, though. Alright, now it's just a matter of time for us to win. Now that his army is gone. An earnest disciple. Oh no, he does have allies. Thank you to the one super, the one one super, I should say, for following. Grimdalis is mastering the art of swordsmanship. He's had chest pains for years now. Goodness me. Oh well. Uh, you will learn humility. Good. I have to bother to educate my daughters. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just get through this. Then we'll kill the enemy troops. I mean, most of these guys are still pretty poorly equipped guys. I need no help. If I can't defeat a couple of counts on my own as an emperor, God help the empire. God help the empire. I just need to finish the siege. Mm-hmm. Alright. Still, once more. The conquest of Rome. That actually gets us three of our holy sites. It's great. Now, unfortunately, we still have some problem uh, with the remainder holy sites. One being Jerusalem and one being in Bulgaria for some reason. I still have no idea why that's there. They have plans for a vassal republic somewhere. Probably Venice. Um, Venice is usually the place to put a vassal merchant republic. At least I think it is. Traitor. I'm not super worried. Enforce demands. Title, County of Orvido. Great landed title, the Duchy of Latium. There you are. I've granted the church Rome. Not bad. Good thing the Saxons have split in two at least. Alright. At least we have some semblance of moral authority again. Even with the, uh, Rather heavy loot penalty. <clears throat> yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. Alright, we just have to kind of hope that we can stop, you know, all of our temples from burning. Alright. The Calyx teens were somewhat similar to the Cathars in theology, and they came from roughly Bulgaria, I think. I thought that would have been the Bogomolists um, from that region would be the best reason for that, but best I can come up with. Alright. So, we'll need to get a hold of Pisa to connect our holdings here, but otherwise, not bad. You can go after them. 
Uh, that would be incorrect, Leo King. I cannot go after the Kingdom of Air because in CK2+, Plus, I'm required to have medium crown authority. If we go to limited here, note, kingdoms and empires, de jure claims cannot be enforced under this level of crown authority. And similarly, actually going to the declare war screen, the reason will be repeated here. We must have medium crown authority or greater. And I can't usurp the, ca the, the duchy despite having two, because he's a different religion and holds land within it. Nevera is untouchable right now, I'm afraid. Right now, we'll get them. We will get them, don't worry. It's just gonna take a little while. Unfortunately, stupid bureaucracy is holding me back on this one. The vassals want their rights. You know, all that stuff. Okay. Either way, great gains are being made. You know, right now as I say this, Sicily is divided. It's a complete and utter mess at best. I mean, they have Nordic. Oh my god. There's an there's a friggin' Chalicedonian ruler here, guys. Holy shit, I thought you were extinct, sir. It's like a, a minor comeback. Yeah, we have some Germanics. Then down here we get another Hellenics. We might be able to just seize Sicily at this point. And the American dollar is dropping like a stone. Oh my. What do you think about the Marshall's passive job versus train troops? Um, that's a that's a fair question. Uh, it's sort of a size thing. As a smaller size, train troops is significantly more valuable. As a larger size, when you have access to more retinue and more of your own troops come from your vassals, so it's less of an increase, uh, then the organize the army effect is much better. It, that's, that's, my, uh, that's my two cents on the topic. It's sort of a size-dependent thing. So when I'm small, I use trained troops, and when I'm large, I just leave it on organized the army. Because ultimately speaking, organize the army is going to get you 500, 1,000 maybe. I say merc up to conquer southern Italy. Yeah, maybe. What's my income looking like these days? Well, assuming my retinue ever fully reinforces. Uh, pro tip, probably won't. I mean, I might be able to afford a thousand mercs. <laughs> uh, so I can get 3,000 people to do it with. All right. 3,000 3, to do it with. It's at least possible. Ah. Uh. So, uh, I believe I'm supposed to be changing a law now. I've considered the upping of feudal obligations, but in all honesty, that's not necessary. Like, as much as I could do it, and it would get me more troops. Like, 7.5% extra to the max levy. But it does cost me opinion. I'd actually be sooner willing to lower the obligations. I don't think it's necessary that we have as much on them. I'd rather take the opinion for succession purposes, because if you have a bad succession, a lot of hell can uh, be paid for that. Mm. On the other hand, we could work a little more towards the whole gender thing. Uh, good luck. Can I have the burger focuses? I can. I should do that. I'm gonna mostly abuse the burgers to high health. I'm not gonna lie. The, I, I have no problem doing that. They're a good source of money for us. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. 
It has been many decades. Oh, God damn it. I was bankrupt for a second. Just no highway rubber band. God damn it. Uh. Oh, yeah, CK2 plus marks. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, the costs are high. There we are, taken care of now. Exposer is not Christian enough. Alright. So. Yeah, I I'm thinking about it. We're probably going to go on a conquest of Sicily pretty soon. I like our odds. Alright. Well, after all this time, <laughs> the Duchy of Navarra has maintained its independence. Finally, though, that comes to its end today. I am pleased to announce that we can finally annex the Duchy of Navarra. Once and for all. There's not enough troops to do anything. No need, I got this. Commander improved. Good. Oh, four, four gold. Thank you. Alright. Good. We've slowly managed to notch the Chalcedonians back a little bit more. We only need... Wow. We're, we're six provinces uh, difference now. And then we take over being the main branch of Christianity. Especially with our 77 moral authority, everybody. Yeah! Yeah! I am. Um, hmm. Erm. Um. Alright, I mean. Like, I end the Civil War by inheriting something. Uh, question Does that piss everybody off? And how much does it piss everybody off by? Well, to me, I held duchies, but that's another problem. Yeah. Uh, distribute the holdings. That's for standard. Congratulations on Duchy of Beja. There you are. We just kind of inherited something and won the Civil War. Alright. Press through. Seize the castle. Excellent. Finally. We have gained the county of Navarra. Alright. Distribute Navarra to its new cow. Grant him the duchy of Navarra. And grant Kingdom of Navarra. There you are. There you go, sir. Enjoy. We have a vassal king now. Ain't that nice? Okay. So, yeah, 974. You had a uh, ruler replacement by the looks of it, so we get a war on you of our choosing. Well, I mean, in the end, I'm going to want to take Burgundy as well, but um, we already have that duchy. I think we just take Bourbon. Alright. 
Some more, gather the soldiers. March to lose everybody. The king doesn't still doesn't move over Brezkaya. Yeah, that's because it's ruled over by the Duke of Gascow, or Duchess rather, who took that at an earlier date. Not much I can do about it until I can enforce the king's peace, so I'm not going to. Eventually, when I can enforce the king's peace, I'll start caring about your borders. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Eh, alright, that's the best outcome that could have happened, in all honesty. So, do we want to go for child number five? No, we'll, uh, we'll go with Exalted first. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here. Freaking. Freaking. So they arrive when? December 26th. Alright. Go back them up. Kill them all. You guys chase, you guys. Fens have risen up in docks. Luckily, our reserves are quite capable of it. So we'll have no problems with it. Nope, and we imprison the king anyway. The number of wars I've just won by imprisoning a monarch is ridiculous, I tell ya. Titled Duchy of Bourbon. All yours. Not bad. We're getting there. Alright. So, there's three provinces remaining that we do not have in Aquitaine. And then the, uh, We've become exalted among men. We are no longer the young. Oh no, apparently that part didn't figure fire. Oh well. But five children. Yeah. Didn't get the new title. Oh well. Still, unfortunately we're getting to a concerning point especially with the fact that I do plan to lower why is it everybody around here gets assassinated by drowning that happens way too often we are coming up on the vassal limit and we're going to be lowering the vassal limit in the future uh, you know I'd really hope hopefully we can live to just be like 70 I can help, right? Because then I can just change another crown law. Get up to medium. It'll be good. Alright. Use intrigue to kidnap your way to victory many times. Fair. That's a good tactic. Every year is Empire of Visigothic. The Kingdom of Visigothic is no longer considered part of the blank. Oh, well, there we are. Also, despite it saying out of 100 years, it appears to be Our out of 50. community grows. In other news, I am pleased to announce... Huzzah, everybody! We are a de jure empire. We are no longer titular. Thank you, by the way, to Hartel1979 for following. De jure -dum. We're a real empire now. Drowning is the easiest way of killing someone because making a manure bomb or sewing sport... Sewing sport means too much effort. No, you're not wrong. 
The Cathar faith triumphant. The adherents of the Chalcedonian faith have steadily dwindled to a point where the Cathar believers are in the majority. This new state of affairs has reduced the Chalcedonian faith to a de facto heresy. All former Chalcedonian holy orders are now Cathar. God is good. Now, sadly, of all the holy orders, there is still zero. I don't stop talking with servants too much. Alright. Not bad. Oh, we don't quite border Bavaria yet. So, yes, we are, in fact, yeah, Cathar Christian. All must bow before me. So, Corsica, you're independent. So there's that. Now can we also take, um... Wow, no. Apparently, there is no valid cost belief for that. Um, I guess we'll have to move on to Corsica. From there, we better get a bloody cost belief for Sardinia. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. Gilman, do you have a merchant republic? Not yet, no. Forts also give troops, which is nice. I haven't built a fort yet. Uh, begin building a fort. I noticed there were, like, fort upgrades, but... If uh, what you say is true, I will gladly uh, build a fort to check it out. No reason not to. Make our capital a little cooler. Garrison zero. Is that a reinforced fort? Oh my. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm holding them. They need to be upgraded in order to possess real fortifications or garrisons. Let me try. Commander improved. Next communication lifted, that's nice. Ah, I see, so improved keeps at least three for that. Alright, well I believe... You know... I'm gonna do it. Screw it, tech three. Yeah, upgrade the fort. It's a superior fort now. Or at least it will be. And our own. Yeah. And can't do Castle Town. Can totally do some racks though. Looks like uh, some nice barracks in Toledo get built. Good. And also, I think the hospital gets an upgrade when we have money. All right. Uh, local build time minus thirty-seven percent. Not quite worth it. On the plus side, we now have holy war against, you know, all Christian forms. Whatever form they take. And I've considered some things. Hail to the kings in the north. Perhaps there are alternatives to dealing with the uh, raider problem. by some miracle we were to spread Catharism across Europa that would be amazing we shall see, but in the meantime for now, I'm going to call an episode here, it's already been far too long thank you everybody for watching I've been your lovely, lovely host Gilvan signing off <laughs>